1956, Elvis Presley, the man who had teenagers screaming and parents frowning, faced what he would later call the most embarrassing moment of his career. And guess what? It involved a real hound dog. Now imagine the scene. We're on the Steve Allen show. The audience is buzzing with excitement. And there's Elvis, about to sing too. Wait for it. A basset hound named Sherlock, dressed in a bow tie and top hat. In rehearsal, Sherlock couldn't care less about Elvis. But during the actual show, Elvis, in his suave suit, starts crooning hound dog to this unimpressed canine. According to Graceland, Elvis found this performance utterly embarrassing. Yet he went through with it, never wanting to insult anyone. Gordon Stoker, from Elvis Backing Group, said, he always did the best he could with whatever situation he was given. But why did Elvis end up singing to a dog on national TV? Well, it was because of the uproar he caused on the Milton Berle show with his dance moves. People were outraged, demanding that Allen cancel Elvis' performance. NBC, fearing another scandal, told Elvis to stand still while singing. Allen, introducing Elvis, promised a good, controversy-free show. And that's how Elvis ended up serenading a hound dog, making it one of his most unforgettable performances. Interestingly, Hound Dog was originally recorded by Big Mama Thornton in 1952. Elvis decided to cover it after watching Freddie Bell and the Bell Boys perform at the Sands in Las Vegas. It quickly became a closing number in his concerts. Now here's a question for you all. If you were in Elvis' shoes, would you have sung to Sherlock the Basset Hound? So what are your thoughts on this? Sound off in the comments section down below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for celebrity news and updates every day.